Hello and welcome to another tutorial in the Universal Electricity or Volts mod pack. I'm CD-ROM and today we're going to be looking at something a couple of people in the comments of my previous videos have asked about, and that is the fulmination generator. This is a way to use some of that excess antimatter that you've made from your particle accelerator. You can see I'm standing in the middle of a particle accelerator. Uh, to generate a bit of power for yourself. And I say a bit, what I really mean is a lot. Now this is deceptively simple, by which I mean it, it's fairly easy, but it may not immediately be evident. So what we're going to start with is the fulmination generator, which is right here. Now, fulmination generators are made like this, advanced circuits, steel plates, and obsidian. And what we need to do is we put them on the ground, and we quite literally throw antimatter at them. Now, that sounds crazy, uh, and it is really, but we literally do that. Uh, I'm not going to do that because they explode. That's how these things generate power. Um, so what you need to do is you need to put water on top and surround it by um, something to stop the explosion from damaging things, and that outputs power. So uh, without uh, any more fuss, let's get on to building one. Uh, I'm just going to build a standard 3x3x3 three by three by three design. You can, these can go up to 5x5x5, five by five by five, so you can build them much larger. Um, but I mean, again, each one of these costs at least one diamond to create. Uh, so they're not that cheap, but they're not that expensive either. Uh, we're going to need a bucket of water, which we're going to put in the top here, like that. And that's purely to uh, save uh, any of the wires from getting explosion damage. So we're going to use HV wire, because these things output a lot of power. Um, a, uh, a f the maximum, I believe, they can put out is 48,000 kilovolts, uh, which is a 5x5 five five one. Uh, with a single gram of antimatter in, and obviously that's that will fry absolutely anything you've got on the line. Uh, the minimum they can put out is 480 volts, so without a doubt these are ultra high voltage. So what we are going to need is a transformer on the line. Now transformers are a part of the electric uh, expansion mod pack, you can see that here. Uh, they are made like this, with coils and plates and basic circuits. Uh, you put them down, red is input, and black is output. So we're going to put it on the line there, and right-clicking it, you can see it's converting down. We're then going to put another wire, and an advanced battery box. Now, advanced battery boxes are much like regular battery boxes, except they are upgradable. You've got these slots here on the side, which can be used for upgrades. In this case, we're going to use the, uh, the HV... No, not the HV upgrade, that will make it output HV. We're going to use the HV acceptor upgrade, and the ultimate storage upgrade. Now the HV acceptor upgrade is made like this. Um, so again, quite quite expensive, needs two diamonds, but uh, it's, it's necessary. Uh, and we're also going to use the ultimate storage upgrade, that's completely optional. Uh, the HV acceptor upgrade isn't. The ultimate storage just doubles the storage space. Uh, so now this should be all ready to receive power. Uh, so what we're going to do is fly up to the top. I recommend building a walkway, because you won't be doing this in creative mode, unless you are to test it out. Um, and we're just going to take our 200 milligrams of antimatter and throw it in there with Q. Then we're going to stand back because it's going to explode. Any minute now. There we go. Now if we go down to our advanced bat box, we can see how quickly it's generating power. Very, very quickly. Now of course you can use this to power your particle accelerator, which will in turn make lots of antimatter for you, which can in turn power this. So I believe that you will end up generating power, you could probably automate that using uh, assembly line. Incidentally, I will shortly be putting out another tutorial on assembly line, it's changed quite a lot in the four weeks since my last one. That's pretty much everything on the fulmination generator, I believe. If you have any comments uh, or uh, questions, just put them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye!